Hi everyone, welcome to Crocheting Around My Kitchen Table. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you know when I upload a new video. This video is my version of a small dragonfly keychain. It has a smaller wingspan and this little elbow on the bottom wing that I love in dragonflies. So let's get started. For this video, I'm going to use I Love This Cotton. It is a worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton in turquoise. I like to use the cotton for the dragonflies because it makes a very uh, sturdy wing. You will also need a variety of beads that you want to use and I'll show you the different looks that each one has. I like using these long tail beads. I think they're called spaghetti beads. You can use pony beads, wood beads, and I like to use a different size for the head. You don't have to get a variety, but it certainly makes it interesting. The first one I showed you had a big wood bead, and I think this is a 16 millimeter with some pony beads and that little spaghetti bead at the end, and I just leave a longer tail. The wood beads gives it this look here, which is also very nice. Different variety looking. You can do different sizes, make a longer tail. And then there's also a combination of both wood beads and wood beads with pony beads. So you can definitely be very creative with the look of your dragonflies. In addition to the beads, you're going to need a keychain. You're going to need a size E hook, a needle for weaving in those ends, and your scissors. Let's begin by placing a slip knot on our hook. I like to weave it around twice, yarn over one, grab the second one, come over the finger, pull the tail, and we're ready to go. We're going to need to chain 12. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We're going to count to the second chain from the hook. We never count this loop on the hook, so we're going to go one and two and place two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. It's one and two. We're going to place one single crochet in the next four chains. So that's one. Two, three, and four. In the next chain, we're going to place a slip stitch. We're going to place one single crochet in the next four chains. Two, three, and four. In the last chain, we're going to place two single crochets. We're going to turn our work over and now we're going to work on this side of the chain. In the corner where we place two, we're going to place two half double crochet. One, two, 
two. In the next chain, which is directly underneath this single crochet, we're going to place one half double crochet. In the next three chains, we're going to place one single crochet. One, two, three. In the next chain, we're going to place a slip stitch, which should be directly underneath the slip stitch on the other side. Continuing on, we're going to place one single crochet in the next three chains. Two and three. In the last chain of this row, we're going to place one half double crochet. In the corner where we first started our two single crochets, we're going to place two half double crochets. And to end this wing, we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet. And fasten on. You don't need a long one because we're just going to leave it in. Pull that through and that's our top wing. Let's set our top wing aside and start our bottom wing. We're going to start with our slip knot. I'm going to chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. In the second chain from the hook, we're going to place two double crochet. In the next four chains, we're going to place one single crochet. So that's one, two, three, and four. In the next chain, we're going to place one slip stitch. In the next four chains, we're going to place one single crochet. In the corner, we're going to place four single crochet. I like to place two on one side of the slip knot, turn my work over and place two more on the other side of that slip knot, making sure not to get into that first chain that we're going to put something else in. So now we have four in this corner. In the next chain over, we're going to place one single crochet. In the next chain, we're going to place one single crochet and one half double crochet.
and we're going to chain one. In the next two chains, we're going to place one single crochet in each. And then we're going to place a slip stitch in the next chain. See, we've made that first little elbow. In the next chain, we're going to place one single crochet. The next one over, we're going to place one single crochet in a chain one. We're going to place one half double crochet and a single crochet in the next chain. And then in the last chain, we're going to place one single crochet. In the corner, we're going to place two single crochets. And then we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet to finish the bottom one. Sorry. Okay, and then we're just going to pull. And we finished our bottom wing. So now we're going to weave in our ends. Take our needle, thread it. With this knot, I like to turn my work around. And I'm going to place the needle in this area here. Here is our knot. Pull that tight. I'm going to place it in between there and run it through this back loop here. I'm going to pull it. Hopefully as I pull it, it'll disappear. To work up a little bit. But you're using this stitch here, tie it up, and just stretch it a little bit. And then I'm going to run it through the back. Mark a few single crochets. Not to pull too hard because then we mess up our wing shape and just run it through the other side. To pull it a little bit so it starts closing a little bit better. Closes quite nicely. Let me trim that. The other one, I'm going to do the same. Weave it through these single crochets on the top. Jump over to the other side. Through the back end.
And I'm going to repeat that for the other wing. So now we're going to assemble the dragonfly keychain. I've already cut a 10 inch piece of yarn. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to put these two out. I'm going to take my keychain past the loop that I made through the keychain. You can certainly attach your keychain how you like. And I pulled my two pieces of yarn through and make a nice little knot there. I'm going to thread the two pieces of yarn into the big eye needle. And I'm going to place the bead I chose for the head. So now we're going to take the top wing. We're going to see where that corner is and count four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And we find that slip stitch. I'm going to place my needle through the V of the top of that slip stitch. Turn it over and find the V of that bottom slip stitch. Slide my wing to the top. I'm going to do the same with the bottom wing. There's that corner. We're going to count one, two, three, four. Slide our needle through the top V and then through the bottom slip stitch through the top B as well. And there you have both of your wings on there. Now to the bottom beads. So I've got my big eye beading needle and I'm going to place just one of the yarn from the tails through it. going to take each one of these little beads I've chosen, thread them on there, including the spaghetti bead or the long bead. I'm going to take this little piece of silicone gripper I got because it's just easier to pull sometimes. Just slip those on there. I'm going to take my beading needle off. I'm going to slide my beads closer to the end. There's a method to my madness. Then I'm going to thread the beading needle to the other yarn. And I'm going to take a couple of these beads and slide it through, threading it. I'm going to pass them through and out the threaded piece. Pushing it all the way to the top. Continue on with the other two beads. Having this so I can push that along. Trying to get beads out of the way so they don't lose focus. And then finally, I'm going to place it through the baker bead. Take the beading needle off. Now, time to straighten out our dragonfly. I like to layer them together just like that and then use the beads to push it together. I'm going to 
going to turn it around, make a knot. To put the knot as close as possible. Bit. And there is our dragonfly keychain. So now we'll just cut the ends. You can certainly cut it as long or short as you like. This has been my version of the Dragonfly keychain. The other keychain pattern that I used is linked in the other video I made just for the assembly of the Dragonfly keychain. And that designer also has the pattern written in their video. If you prefer the one that was in the assembly video, which is a longer top wing and a shorter bottom wing. She also has some very neat ideas on what to do with the tails and I definitely recommend seeing her video for all of her ideas. Thanks again for visiting my channel crocheting around my kitchen table. Please be sure to like, subscribe and turn on those notifications if you want to know when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching.